Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little while, let's be honest, but I obviously you can see I'm in a new place. I got an apartment recently, so I've just been really busy um, getting moved, getting adjusted, all that fun stuff. Um, but today I'm talking about the five exercises that are really going to help to build your glutes. I know that's like a really big priority for most women in the gym, and sometimes it's hard to really feel like they're activating. So I wanted to run through five exercises that I feel really help to grow my glutes and that I can really feel working in my glutes. So, number one, hip thrusts. Hip thrusts are hands down my favorite exercise for glutes. You can go light, you can go heavy, um, you can go for reps, you can do whatever you want. Um, I personally like to go heavy, and then for my last set, I knock down the weights and I um, rep it out as many times as I can in order to really get a good burn. There are multiple ways that you can do this exercise. You can do it on um, a hip thrust machine, but most gyms don't have those, so you can do it on a, on a line leg curl machine, or you can just do it with a barbell um, and a bench. So there are multiple ways you can do it, and um, as you can see, there's a video of me doing them, so enjoy that. Yeah. When you're doing the hip thrust, really focus on squeezing at the top. One thing I like to do is pause when I'm at the height of the lift before coming back down, and that just allows me to make sure that I'm really squeezing that muscle and um, activating my glutes. Second are walking lunges. I really like walking lunges, especially at the end of my workout. I actually try to do um, a set of walking lunges at the end of every workout, no matter what I'm working, just to like make sure I'm still hitting some legs a little bit. Um, but they're a great thing for stretching out the size of the glutes and really hitting your gluteus medius. So you gotta get that like nice and round look from them. Um, but yeah, I just grab some dumbbells in my hands and I just walk down my gym with these. Um, or you can use um, a barbell and you can put it on your back. It just depends on what's easiest for you. Um, but they are so great. Walking lunges are my nemesis. I absolutely hate doing them, but every time I do them, I really feel the glute activation. So I definitely recommend doing those. Um, you're gonna hit multiple parts of your legs with a walking lunge. So yes, definitely add walking lunges, maybe to the end of your workout if you're looking to build your glutes. Number three are squats. And squats are probably one of my favorite exercises of all time. Squats are so good for just targeting so many parts of the body, like, you know, you have your calves stabilizing you, um, you have your quads obviously doing the work, your hamstrings doing the work, your butt doing a lot of work, your lower back, your upper back, there's just so many parts of the body that get hit when you do squats, but a big part of that is your glutes. When you do squats, you can easily let a lot of the weight um, bear on your quads and let your quads do the work. But if you widen your stance a little bit and kind of point your toes out just a little bit like you'll see in this video, then it makes it a lot easier to hit your glutes. And as you get to the very deepest, darkest part of your squat, make sure you're really squeezing those glutes to pop yourself back up. And then when you get up at the top of your lift, you squeeze your butt again at the top just to make sure that you're getting all of that juicy muscle working. <laughs> that was kind of nasty. Another thing about squats is that you're going to make sure you are hitting depth. No quarter squats, not even parallel squats. I want you to go past parallel. That is really where you're gonna get the most glute activation. Um, so make sure you're going past parallel and getting that really nice deep squat in for really good, nice, round, big glutes. Yeah. Number four is the hip abduction machine. I like this machine kind of the same reason that I like walking lunges is that it hits kind of like the outer part of your butt and kind of helps to build that roundness. You might know this is the good girl, bad girl machine. This one is the bad girl machine. Um, but basically you're just going to sit into the machine and um, you're going to use your glutes, specifically the outside of your glutes, to press the weight back um, and your legs will go back towards like the sides of your body. So hip abductions are so fantastic. I love them. Um, you can kind of do them in a multitude of ways. You can um, stand up more and do them. You can sit all the way down and do them. Um, if you sit a little bit forward in the seat, like don't sit your uh, back all the way to the back of the seat. If you sit kind of forward in the seat, I notice that you can really get like that wide push um, and a better stretch. So those are a couple tips for doing the hip abduction for building your glutes. Lastly are kettlebell thrusts. And this one is really fun because it hits a little bit of cardio too. So if you're looking to knock down a few pounds while building your glutes, 
definitely throw in some kettlebell thrusts and maybe some hit cardio and some stairmaster. But kettlebell thrusts are so great because they really um, activate that powerhouse side of your glutes. Your glutes are made for power, like jumps and leaps and um, fast running, stuff like that. So you're kind of activating that powerhouse um, ability that your glutes were given. So. Um, with kettlebell thrusts, one thing you're gonna want to make sure you're doing is just like squats. You're gonna make sure you're gonna you're going really deep. You really want to make sure that you're stretching the glute as much as you can before popping back up and squeezing it. And when your kettlebell has reached the top um, of the lift, you want to make sure you're squeezing your butt again, just to make sure you're really activating those glutes and building them, because that's really what's going to break them down to build them up even bigger. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was quick, but I just wanted to. Give Give you a really quick rundown of um, five exercises that you can use to build your glutes. I know it can be kind of difficult to feel your glutes activating sometimes, which can be discouraging when you are trying to build them, but don't worry, add a few of these exercises into your routine um, and I'm sure that you will start to feel the activation and start to see some improvement in those glutes. Make sure to take progress pictures so you can really see it in the future. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, night, morning, whatever you're doing today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Also, don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel down below. Thanks. Bye.